So as we draw nearer to the end of FC24, we are starting to now get the SBCs. We thought we'd get maybe halfway through footage, to be honest. And we're still lacking a 99 Mbappe. We're still lacking a 99 CR7 or Neymar SBC. But we do now have the likes of Rivaldo. We have Pele. We have Cruyff. We have Hansen. So they are starting to ramp it up a little bit. Now... We have got very little new players coming in. Obviously, there is still a few. Like, obviously, the last one, Alvarez, Klosterman, uh, Anaki Williams. We had Fodderingham, who is probably the cheapest and easiest obtainable 99 you could physically get. I know Swanson was an objective, but you had to play, like, six or seven matches. Whereas Fodderingham is, like, I think a, a couple of K. He's coming in at... 21,000 coins. I, I know he's not necessarily going to be the number one goalie. Let, let's be real here. He's very much a 99 goalie and that's it. There's no actual stats. I very rarely see him in the game at this point, but it's a 99 goalie and it did allow us a full 11 99 rated team, which is pretty cool. In, in general, that's always a nice touch. So the question is, with the unlimited grind, where should you go for first? Because it's not necessarily now which SBC could to complete, it's which one to complete first. Because you have an unlimited amount of uh, kind of SBCs, players to actually go with. And this is just in case you're brand new to this. You have got the 84 times 10, which is completely repeatable. We now have the 84, uh, 85 times 10, which I believe is, unless they've changed it, completely repeatable, which I don't think they have. That should be times 10. Uh, yeah, because obviously these are not completely repeatable. So you've got the 85 times 10, 10 times a day that you can do it. The 84 times 10 is completely unlimited. So... Already now, you, you don't need to worry about how much someone costs. Because if we look through the icons... If you're looking for coins to improve your team, head over to lootbar.gg for the most reliable and also the best coins around. Also, they have incredible 24-hour manual customer service that you physically cannot find anywhere else. But before finishing on lootbar.gg, make sure you are using JT11 to get 8% off coupon. Once you've gone through the payment, you'll be able to get your coins within the next 24 hours absolutely guaranteed also with the code you'll be able to get five percent more coins on every transaction make sure you do click the link either in the description or down in the comment section below you've got the likes of pele at 2.7 you've got uh who we got we got croy for 780 where's mia ham mia ham's at 2.8 that really has no value anymore because you're just grinding out the card over the course of these 84 times 10s. Yes, the end in SBCs, with Mia Hamm especially, she needs 93s on every single one. That's going to be a lot more difficult for quickness than it is for somebody who has like an 88, an 89, a 90, a 91, a 92. Because obviously you can stagger the upgrades. Maybe you can't finish another 93, but you can finish a 90. So it is going to be annoying to have to keep getting that 93 rated squad, but it's possible and it's very, very simple. Now, when it comes to cards like this, I personally would say stick with a card you can't physically get in the packs. For instance, Maldini, we can get in a pack. Rivaldo, we should be able to get in a pack. Cruyff can, Pele can. So already I'm looking at them and thinking, they're going to be my last, not the last resort, but they're going to be my last one that I complete in this grind. They would be part of the repeatable grind because you can physically get them. I'm thinking, how much are they actually coming in at? Because you could go buy them. But say, for instance, Rivaldo's 1.3. You've got Maldini, who, to be honest, isn't necessarily the best center back anymore. It's still coming in at a mil, which is fantastic. Cruyff is unbelievable if it would change. He's coming in at 380, which is just crazy in itself. Now, obviously, you might be sitting here and thinking, well, Cruyff's only 780 of an SBC. That's fine, and, and go do it. But what I'm thinking is getting any of these players that are not in pack. So you physically, if these SBCs go, and I know the game's ending, it's it's a bit much for it, but if these go, you can't physically get them again. That That is just it. There's no uh, SBC, no year in review pick for them. This is the final chance for them. And this is why I'm a little bit disappointed there is no CR7 yet, because we are getting now to the point where we are, what, five days away from September. To be honest, even at this point, I'm not really feeling it. Unless you packed him out of a uh, footage guarantee, one of the many 94 pluses, and, and just in general, the 85 times 10, 
there's very little chance to actually go and use him now. So if I was looking at the rest of these icons, Mia Hamm and Eusebio would definitely be on my bucket list to complete straight away as quick as possible because they are going to be ideally the best options you can physically get now obviously eto raul uh, kaka llama all going to be sensational options and i think the 99s for me will always be the pinnacle to start with because everybody wants the highest rated team now everybody wants the best team as well a hullet a croy for pele a cr7 a Messi. of course everybody wants that but in terms of an sbc Physically, 99s are going to be more pleasing than the rest of them. I think Raul's SBC is absolutely incredibly cheap, and he is a sensational player in himself. He's coming in, I remember seeing him whilst I was away, 125,000 coins is crazy for a 98 which is lovely to see because it's a nice quick one we have a lot of sbcs with many many requirements eusebio's got 23 mia ham's got 30 kak already had plenty in himself there is a lot to go through here eto would obviously be up next i think then i'd go with kaka then i think when it comes to the rest of the icons I like the Bobby Moore. I think he's definitely up there as a centre-back, especially if you've not got your, health, uh, your hands on a Virgil, on a Maldini, or anybody of them sort of top calibre. But I can imagine you've got somebody decent. Like, even if it's not quite a 98 or a 97, there's a lot of centre-backs out there that is a must. When it comes to the rest of them, like, I do like Boutra. I think he's good value. Uh, Baggio is another one. The rest, I'd probably say, are kind of into my last resort, really. They've just never really hit. Like, I must admit, in fact, Van Pers is probably a little bit harsh. I think Schweinsteiger's good, but centre midwise, there's so many options, it's crazy. Like, Valverde, just as a number one off the top of my head, you get him so many times in that 85 times 10. It's just crazy. And Abile, I like what they were trying to do. Very much shapeshifter vibe for her. I don't know if she ever played in the right wing, but... It just didn't hit, really. I'd, I'd have preferred her, actually, in the centre mid, to be fair. Which then leads us to the normal cards. What we got to kind of go with. Because heroes are here for at least another 20 to X amount of days. I'm pretty sure they have got... If we have a look at... Tim Kale was the last one. Ooh, we got five days from, in fact. Okay. I, they've changed the they've changed the requirements there. It's got 31 hours for Morientes, but then we've got seven weeks for Ginola. So it, I think they went for that, and then they realized, oh, okay, hold on. Everybody's leaving these heroes till the end. Fair enough. Fair enough. But when we've got the heroes, I think they are pretty much a straightforward job with this. I, I think Yaya Torre is probably one of the only ones out of them, and Ginola, obviously, that I'd say are absolute must. Like, th there is no question. Them two are a, a number one and two in my arguments there. The rest of them, like Kanu, is definitely a last resort. They really need to sort him out. Akocha's good card. Carvalho, very much like Bobby Moore. Very good card, but probably got somebody better. And to be honest, that SBC could have could have gone for Bobby Moore as well. Um, you've got Cole. I mean, he could be part of the grind. I think Future would be a last resort. Crouch... I'd say he's in the repeatable grind. He is kind of a last resort, but I think the nostalgic value for him would put him just a little bit higher. Donovan would be in the last resort. Moriantes ain't a bad striker, to be fair to him. He's always been pretty decent going forward. I am surprised we haven't seen like a full on SBC of, of, some poor, of some kind, but I know he did get the 96 great to the game, so I can imagine he's not necessarily on the front list. And I'd say Tim Kale, very much like Moriantes, but just a little bit lower with the anticipate. I mean, why, as a striker, he's got to anticipate? I, I kind of don't know, to be honest. Now, Fodderingham is obviously going to be in that number one spot. I think that's an easy one, to be honest. 99 goalie, 20,000 coins. Even if you just put him in your club, that's absolutely fine. It bumps your rating up if you squad. Hansen, easy one, to be honest. The one thing that I haven't checked with her is truly how many squads is she? She's coming in at a whopping 2.1 mil. You've got, oh, yes, it's, it's the exact same as Mia Hamm. You've got 93s and 94s. You've got how many of them? Does there's a total or do I have to count? 6, uh, 9, 12, 15. Okay, 19 SBCs. Wow, that's a lot of SBCs. But it, it kind of makes sense, to be honest. Like I said, with the, the grind that you've got, it's not impossible. It just takes a little bit of time. You, when you look at the amount of, of kind of cost for these players, especially when you go really high up here, you go like to the 95s, they're coming in at 12,000 coins. It tells you 
where the market is at in terms of these high rated players. Like we can get a 97 rated player for 18,000 coins. If you can get a few of them, that makes a 93 so much easier to complete. Like for instance, if you go into the SBC portion, you go to combinations. If you was to go up to a 93 here, you obviously have the 96s, so it doesn't even go up that high. So for instance, if we was to go that you've got one 94, uh, 96 here, so you've got a 96, and then you go 95, 94, 93, you only need three 93s, six 92s, and one 91. That is so much easier than, for instance, nine 93s and two 92s, which would be the standard one. That's normally what everybody kind of goes for in terms of it. But getting them 96, 95, and even a 97 will make the SBC so much easier to complete. We have got the likes of Alvarez as well. I think any sort of 99 rated player is an absolute must first. Like They, they are going to be the best cards for the rating purpose and also for your team purpose. And Alvarez has always been a pretty good striker as well. Odengard, I was very, very happy with this card. I thought he was just sublime in the midfield. Like I said, there is plenty of options in here. I'm not saying these SBCs will, will shape everybody's team, but if you are looking for a specific SBC, you haven't quite got that player just yet, that is definitely the one to go for. Like I had Valverde and also uh, Patrick Vieira, Odengard slots in at some point, but pretty much they're going to be the two that take over him anyway. But it's nice to have into the club regardless. And to be fair with the last couple of options, I don't think they're really going there. Like, Anaki Williams could be part of the grind. I think he's a good card. Rapid plus, aerial, finesse shot, and a bit of relentless, incredible pace. He is a 5-4, could have been a 5-5, five five, but that's a very good card. Even Ox, to be honest to him, as a centre mid... That's a pretty good sentiment for how cheap he's going to be. It, it's definitely one of them cards you look at and think, you know what, he's actually got some decent stats there. You chuck a, an anchor on him, you chuck something for defense and physical, you've got yourself a top-end sentiment there, which is absolutely nice. Go into the in-game ability, he's going to be decent, he's got some decent play style pluses, but he's not necessarily defensive orientated, there's not really a defensive play style plus, so he's going to be more box-to-box -box more attacking than he is going to be on the defense. And Klosterman, to be fair, pretty bug standard in this. Nice upgrade to him, but again, with Carvalho, with Bobby Moore, you're not really going to need him as an SBC centre-back. He is just going to be complete a collection tick in your log or fodder for the next one. And that's going to be everything for today. Let me know down below if you are still grinding. And if we do get that 99 Ronaldo, are you going to complete it? Take care. Peace.